morning. We're currently at the Premier Inn by London Heathrow and we're about to, well, in three hours, go on our flight to Seattle and then start our new uh, adventure for nearly two weeks. We're going to Seattle for a few days uh, and then on the Friday, it's currently Wednesday, on the Friday we board a cruise to Alaska and go around there for a week and we're also going to Victoria. So that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pop on and say, new vlog series, really excited, gonna show you all the food, all the sights. Um, this lighting is not good. I've got my holiday top on. It's not too early to be honest. It's eight o'clock and we're about to drop the car off and then head over to the terminal. Uh, we're flying with Virgin Atlantic today and we're flying in premium. So I'll show you a bit of that as well. Yeah, I just can't wait to get to Seattle. I'm so excited, we've got Cheesecake Factory booked for tonight, so hopefully we'll stay awake for that. And yeah, let's get going for travel day. First night here. It's very big in this one. Oh. A year later. <laughs> the brown one is our favourite, yeah. It's quite thick, it's a it peach is tree. This is the, what is it, the cob salad? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then salmon. Oh yeah, oh my god. That is massive. And look at your hand next to it. Oh, <laughs> that is mad. And then we've got the salmon over here. Orange chicken. And then I, of course, went for my normal Romano. Yum. Hello, and welcome to a new vlog series. We are here in Seattle. We flew in last night. Yeah, well, no, all day yesterday we flew in. Um, I, I've got new respect for people who film travel days. I intended to film bits of the travel day. I know I don't have much. The flight was fantastic. We flew with Virgin Atlantic uh, in their premium economy cabin and the staff were just great. They couldn't have done enough. We had, we were offered drinks lots throughout the flight. The food was great. Um, it was really smooth. Um, it was just a great nine hour flight really. Um, and then we had, quite a long wait in immigration when we got to the airport and then the shuttle that we'd booked um, was fine and they did have to wait for us because of us being in immigration longer um, but yeah it was fine once we got here but obviously we were very tired and um, so we just tried to stay awake so I just did not pick the camera up as much as I thought I would um, just from tiredness to be honest so yeah everyone who films great travel day vlogs i take my hat off to you because it is difficult and um, we're actually staying at the marriott court courtyard marriott downtown slash lake union um, and it's a lovely hotel staff was so nice when you know we welcomed which is just when they welcomed us to the hotel uh, which is just what you want when you've landed after a long flight we got dressed and then went to um the cheesecake factory for dinner uh, the good thing about that is we were able to push our reservation back um and yeah had that took some cheesecake to go and then came home and it was about quarter past eight at night when we went to sleep so not too bad as there is an eight hour time difference starbucks time Horses used to pull the pull the wagon over there and here, but they they don't use it that much. They replaced it. The uh, battalion chiefs just use it now. Okay, I got one for you, and only Wendy gonna know. Because <laughs> the most famous Chinese person on the planet is buried here in Seattle, Li Xiao Long. You know who I'm talking about, Wendy? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> it just opened in January. Now, look at those wooden, you see those wooden, those are not stairs. Those are bleachers to sit down on. The escalators on the other side of that, you can see them, the steps. If somebody was in there sitting on them, you would see how tiny they look. How many people in here 
Because they got wine, coffee, they make breakfast, they roasted beans. They're going to be taking photos. Wow, that's what that one right there. See, it ain't crowded today. If it was crowded, they'd be out here. They got walking paths designed to have meetings because Bezos realized your brain performs optimally at 1.6 miles an hour. They in between the houses. So you got a boat, you can go right around here. They're hooked in the sewer system, everything. So I How guess- How do they get out? Like, do they get out? Oh, what, you mean on the boat? Yeah. yeah. See, they, oh, they, they just go see. cut around. See, you could turn left. You see the dog on that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these are the floating houses. There's loads of them. It's fishing there, yeah. There's a trampoline, little trampoline and slide on the wall. So, good morning. I realised I didn't say where we were, but we're actually on a three hour minibus tour of Seattle. Um, I'll link below who we came with, but it's so great, so so much enthusiasm, so many facts. I'll have to try and remember them for you in later. Well, I'm going to head off because there's some more now. But it ain't really full time blown tourist season yet. Now imagine walking under here at 2.30 in the morning and you've been drinking. These are all of the boats. We're going to go to the lock soon. And um, we've just stopped for the loo, but we're going to go to the lock soon. We've seen the troll statue. And yeah, we're going to the locks now. So many amazing facts. So Starbucks started here, which I knew that already. But the Amazon Go stores that are here as well, you basically walk in, take what you want, and then walk out. You don't go to pay or anything. It goes through on your app, which is really cool. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember all of them. I'll make sure they pop in my head, and then we'll see. We go right back in here and look up. You're going to see blue hair raising their baby. Lights and stuff flying out. That's the big rock. We're going to walk down here. And hopefully they use it a little lot too. If not, we'll just have to wait on the fifty. When they come back, you know how they jump up. Early May and June's when the salmon comes, so we're a bit early. Yeah, they're looking for the salmon, aren't they? Oh, there, there, there. Just underneath the, yeah. Just under it, yeah. I can actually see it, ooh. Looks like a water ride, looks like Splash Mountain or something. <laughs> this is where the water level is. And then, see it goes down. So there, this is the large one that's open. I don't know if you can hear me, because it's loud. <laughs> Look how much that's gone down. That was it. And now they're all going through. They were saying if there's a commercial one going through, then everyone else has to wait. People are tied up on it because these are there. And obviously they don't go down, so they help them. So they only got to tie up once. Because when the boat comes up, the wall comes up with it. All the nests The eagle will try to eat the baby. They can't fight. So the crows got nests around here. Crows hate those territorial birds. Crows will fight the eagles and chase them away. Yeah, if you want to get a good one, you start to come in. So we've just pulled up at Kerry Park where you can pull over and you get a view of the city and it's just beautiful. They were saying you can't see the mountains, you can only see them on certain days. It's so, like, well not foggy, but cloudy, I guess. You can see there. And the Space Needle, which you can see is orange. Apparently that was orange for the anniversary and they're going to be painting it back um, white, I think, the tour guide Earl said. Pike Place Market at like one o'clock, so it's going to be probably really busy, but I'm excited to go in and see what it's all about. Let's go! Oh, wow, look at all that. Oh my goodness. Minibus 
tour and we got dropped off at quite a place market. It's very busy, but we're just going to have a look around and grab something to eat. I'll try and show you what I can, but yeah, it's really busy. <laughs> Gonna find some lunch somewhere. Not going here for lunch. <laughs> I'm literally down a road of gum. It's everywhere. It smells very sweet down here, very sweet. I wish I had some bubble gum. Look at this, it goes all the way down there. And I don't know how people actually put any on. I didn't realize there would be so much gum when I've seen it online. It is everywhere. everywhere. So we've come into Target. I just like looking at the size of everything. The size of everything is massive. Look at the size of this bag. For an expensive one, or if it's gone up in price, all oh, the bars are good. This takes your cart, how cool! Today, we've actually had a really exciting day. We've done a minibus tour, I'll link the um the tour guide below uh, in the description so you can have a look and they were rated really high on TripAdvisor and I can see why. Our tour guide was called Earl and he was just so funny, had so many facts about Seattle, um, I'm trying to think of them all now, he was telling us about um, Costco and that that was you know started in Seattle and that's why there's Kirkland products because I think it was started there. He was on about the Amazon Go stores, how if you have the app you can walk in the store, buy eggs or whatever you're buying and then walk straight out and it gets deducted from your app no idea how that works but that's quite cool and then um, I'll insert some footage from that today and show you the different places we visited um, and it was great it was meant to be a three-hour tour but we did run over and it was near four hours I'd highly recommend if you are coming to Seattle to do one of those tours we're actually in Seattle today and then a bit tomorrow morning but tomorrow we board our cruise to Alaska we've got four different stops which I'll do a whole other video or videos on those and then after the cruise it's a week Week long we're going with celebrity after the cruise we're then coming back to Seattle for a few days we've got a baseball game booked and then doing other stuff that we um, haven't had a chance to do and um, yet so far um, this afternoon we also visited Pike Place Market only briefly we're gonna do that a bit more a week on Saturday and we did see the gun wall which I wanted to see but it is a bit gross so um, I got a bit of footage there so hopefully you'll see that but um, yeah it would be great to hear your thoughts on Seattle if you've been or if you've got any questions I can try and answer them in the, in the comments below but yeah I hope you enjoy this vlog series and look forward to the other vlogs to come so yeah see you. So tonight we're off to the Hard Rock Cafe so um, we had lunch uh, near, the, near the waterfront today um, we're quite tired I guess jet lagged still we had some nice fish and chips which was good um, and then tonight we're going to the Hard Rock Cafe just because that's a firm family favourite and then when we come back to Seattle I think we'll do more well less chain places um, but yeah we're loving it the food's all good and yeah I'm just a bit jet lagged now so try and stay awake so I've got my Gatorade with me uh, now so I'll catch up with you later so we've had a bit of a chill in the hotel. Um, I've repacked a few of our cases because I had to get stuff out ready for the cruise tomorrow. But we're gonna head out to the Cheesecake Factory now, which is really exciting. Although to be honest, I'm quite full from the fish and chips still um, today. We're not going to the Cheesecake Factory, are we? Did I say Cheesecake Factory? We're going to the Hard Rock. <laughs> I told you I was tired. We're going to the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> oh gosh, we're going to the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, but yeah, I'm quite full, so I'm definitely going to have the big cheeseburger though, that's my favourite. And a hurricane as well, that, cho um, that cocktail is so lovely. You can tell I'm still tired because I can't talk, so yeah, we'll see you there. What did you add? The barbecue bacon? Yeah. Cheeseburger. 
I'm looking tired. You can hear the telly in the background. We've just got back from the Hard Rock. Um, it was nice. I'd say we did wait a little while for our food, didn't we? Um, and then they kind of bought the bill over before we'd even looked at desserts. We were like, okay, well, we won't have a dessert then. Um, not that we needed it tonight. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely meal. We managed to get our mug for a collection as well. Um, but I'm trying to stay up till 9pm. Jet lag has been interesting. I was up at 3am this morning. So trying to stay up till 9pm and I think I will. Um, you can just hear all the adverts on the telly. Um, but yeah, we're going to go on the cruise tomorrow. So that'll be really exciting. So there'll probably be a new video on that. But thank you very much for watching the video today. And I'm going to go get off to bed. So I will see you soon. Bye.